Okay, we're gonna sit and create the character I've actually wanted to create for a second playthrough, so bear with me. And now that I can see who's been following following me, Estevan, thank you for the follow, and also Late Game Reviewer, thank you for the follow. Thank you for making Tally shake her ass. that I pick Like I said, bear with me. DSL. Oh, that's how I turn her. Okay. Guys, don't get picky with me. I'm making her how I want her, so don't even waste your time typing. Some of this shit is so fucking weird.
Yeah, that's fine. Whoop, was not done. This this way I can actually see it. did that. I'm not going to bother customizing my twin. I'm going to be quiet Every during great certain moment parts. in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. This is actually taking place in, I believe, Mass Effect 2. Yeah, this project is taking place in Mass Effect 2. I don't even know what the original ending to uh, Mass Effect 3 was, but what we got is just kind of like, you know what, either take it or leave it, and it, honestly, it is what it is. But again, that's EA rushing Bioware, just like they rushed Bioware with this game too. This game had a new development team, new software, so of course this game is not going to be that great. A game on its own is fucking awesome, but if you compare it to the original trilogy, that's your first fucking mistake. I have a love-hate relationship with this fucking game, that's why I haven't beaten it yet. It's like the same feeling I got with the second, with the first Mass Effect game. Yeah, Frostbite Engine.
Just to let you guys know, you're gonna wanna unlike take probably it. other streams that you've been to, I do have chat rules. Rider, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean? I did finish Summer the first round. one. How I've beaten it I don't know how many times. First. Billy! That's another Bioware game I need to actually get around to doing, uh, beating, is, um, Dragon Age Origins. See, my rider is so much better rider? looking than the Let's default. <laughs> Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? I hope not. I signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah? Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready. Although I am disappointed with the uh, uh sorry. No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your Sam implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Taparo. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we pack more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, Wynn is actually a pretty cool character in Dragon Age. Feisty. What's, the What's happening? It broke free. Just hang on. Engineering, report. Try to break I'm just gonna flail around. I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. It feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Damn Dora, puns. Riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get- Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott Ryder. What's wrong? Space I don't know. Balls. Have to check it out. Well, it looks like some sort of Philip asshole. Are they okay? Surrounded by assholes. Ryder, is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam? My connection to Scott's I do have that game, suspended. but I got into However, it way too late, to so the controls off. really pissed me off. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Duncan, she could have been right. rolling for I'll all we know. Door, whenever you're ready. Don't this worry, Ryder. Happened. We'll take care of him. Update. He'll make it. Hey there! Hell of a wake-up call, huh? Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. Makes two of us. Hang in there. 
I'm not reading everything. Fuck that shit. Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon? Or... I don't know. tell you? Suit up and get ready to go? Same here. They tell you where we're going? No, just have the shuttles prepped to fly. Good to see you, Ryder. <sighs> uh, sorry, still waiting for some coffee. Damn it. You ready? What's wrong? I like how they made this part so fucking dramatic, though. Could find it. Wait, has what the fuck? Quick, why, why are you moving? The vault. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second con- There's no indication okay, we'll of a fault. Relay to C. Shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it! Bad relay! Ryder! Can you go reset it? There! It's reset! Grid's recovering. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. Esavan, just so you know, that will not happen. That was close. Barely an Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Mm. Go ahead and take us to the... Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to oh God, he's not his default self. He's Alec, please. Kind of like how I look. Like this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. Oops. In this the absence not of communication totally with the Nexus me. or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Yeah, they all pretty much have the same butt. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. The only one that We've looks different is gonna be Scott Ryder. Sleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Father's got a point, though. Solid ground sounding pretty good right now. Yeah, but... Pretty good isn't good enough. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. We don't know how bad it is yet. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are on there. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out... Got we her eyes look weird there. Harbor. <laughs> and if it's not... As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. 
More tutorial bullshit. A stubborn one, isn't he? No one ever said Dad was a diplomat. People skills were never his strong suit. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. My brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. God damn it, Cher. <laughs> Hang in there, Scott. Looks like dad's already suited up. Better not. No bathroom breaks on this trip. Ryder? Hey, Fisher. How's it going? Oh, yeah. Prepare for a lot of, like, weird-ass glitches. She wasn't thrilled with the idea of the expedition. My dad won her over. Glad Dunn came around. Your dad's the N7 here. He's got the most experience. And the best aim. I go wherever he goes. Basically a suicide mission, I guess. Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. Your dad say anything about what's going on? He was all business. Told us to prep and be ready to go. Short and sweet, huh? Will do. See you guys on the ride down. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. Wait. Good luck, Rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. Yeah. Yes. A good luck rock. Giant ass fucking rock. Better safe than sorry. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. <laughs> so just another boring day at the office, huh? This is what the Pathfinder team's all about. We're going to see a planet no humans ever set foot on. I know what you mean. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> on that note, time to get to the shuttle. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. It's what we hope it is. It'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step. I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir. We broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man with Scott out. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. He'll make it. He better. 600 year nap and he oversleeps. You know him. Never was an early riser. 
Just don't let it get to you. I need you sharp. Yes, sir. Your mom would have been proud of both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring Happy the Happy speech time. Finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. <laughs> God damn it, Billy. <laughs> been waiting 600 years for this. I actually loved the speech that they did in uh, Independence Day. Some really good writing, that's for sure. Wow, we look at that. Whatever it is, it stopped the Hyperion in its tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. Oh yeah. If you say so. Like I said, they didn't have enough time to do shit. But it is what it is. The first Mass Effect wasn't any better. Gravity anomalies detected. Although, to be quite honest, a couple glitches here and there, or whatever, in a game not being perfect and everything, always still makes it really fucking interesting and gives you some good laughs. Hang on. Initiating atmospheric entry. Here we go! The flight guidance is scrambled! It'll pass. The controls are fighting me! Adjust approach vector. Three degrees to the We're through. Holy! Shuttle 2, are you seeing this? Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Ionization levels are rising. Stay on course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum human requirements. Is this the right planet? We had this all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. He's the uh, shit out of me. I don't work for NASA. I don't know. I'm not a scientist either. I don't know how this shit works. It has to be advanced engineering. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. Yeah, I gotta love the subtitles, right? <laughs> free! Free Fallen! I haven't heard that song in a long time, actually. This is Ryder, come in! Sam, anyone there? Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's off 
line. Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we aren't too. Did we really do that? Or are we dead and don't know it? Well, we found hell. I can tell you that much. Yeah. No way this is home. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. Come on. I bet I'm gonna die like ten times on this fucking planet. Ryder, how's your survival training? I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra incognita. Oh, and safety tip? Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. You think that energy cloud we saw could cause all this? Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is this? Come on! We gotta get through it! Fucking running! This is crazy! Welcome to Habitat 7! Keep moving! Look safer under there! Is this for real? What the hell's going on with this place? <sighs> Planet's trying to murder. How's your gun? Might want to see if it's working. Take a shot at that fuel cell. It's busted anyway. I'd say it's working! What? Look. Something flying around in the sky. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Here be dragons. Cora will love it. There! We get up that cliff, we find high ground. Come on! Not How sure do I... Want to be the top okay, it was D. Here. I think I can see a path up. We'll use the jump jets if we have to. Into the breach! Dude, I am already fucking ahead of you, asshole. <laughs> I was a cop. In crisis response. Yeah? I'll tell you over a beer sometime. That's it. I feel kind of like Spider-Man when I uh, jump up on something like that. Think I see the top. Am I making some room? Thanks. What the hell is that? That, my friend, is some fun shit. Don't know, but it's our job to figure it out. That sounds like your old man talking. He was right. Something went wrong here. We have to find out what. One thing at a time. Ryder, it's Fisher. <laughs> Holy shit! What was first contact protocol again? No deadly force unless fired upon. <laughs> yeah, said no one in the field ever. How do we handle it? Just be ready if this goes south. It usually does. Say the word and I go hot. They haven't spotted us yet. Uh, I forgot how to pay. Oh, come on. Ugly there. Didn't think we could take the chance. Well, you saved my life. 
be a hell of a thing to survive the crash only to get shot by aliens. I'm not letting that happen for anyone. <sighs> we still don't even know what they wanted. The pew, pew, pew. Nothing good the way they were on. This isn't how first contact was supposed to go. Or at least not how I imagined it. That's on them. Can't let it change us. Next time might go better. Yeah, the whole neighborhood can't be bad. In games with shooting and everything, I have a bad habit. I don't even try. I just end up like shooting like in the lower regions. Even though I usually try to go for a headshot, but yeah. Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Yes, yes she did. Right out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. Whoa. Take a look at these bodies. What are these things? Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. Their DNA Anything makes sense. The armor reads as some kind of bone, but the genetics are all over the map. Ah, huh. I guess life took a different turn here, huh? I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them, but we might want to scout around first. You're the recon specialist. Point the way. <laughs> right. Looks like you knew how to handle the gun back there. Spent time with an Alliance peacekeeping force. It's gear from one of our shuttles! That's my purse, I don't know you. What the fuck? Oh good, that's how I fucking change that shit. They wanna fight? We'll give it to them. I count one left to go. I'll just stop and pick this up in the meantime. No big deal. Oh, come on. That's the awesome. AI in this game is actually really dumb. I can't believe we're like doing most this. games. The captain make it? I'm low on ammo. 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 No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. Uh, yeah, Billy is talking about Liam. We'll come back for his body once we find the others. This guy here. Hope Greer's still alive somewhere. Still, take a look at this architecture. Okay, now this is weird. Even with these readings, I've seen Prothean artifacts in my time, but nothing quite like this. It's at least three or four centuries old. The Ox left 600 years ago, right? Yeah, our long range scans wouldn't have shown this. These structures, that tower. Maybe none of it was here when we left the Milky Way. I'll mark the nap point. Shit, you hear that? I wish I didn't. Okay, that's how I get my tactical cloak. All right. I need to 
Watch out! Ooh. What is this thing? I think it wants to eat. Okay, it's dead. Whatever it was, it's organic. It's... No sign of technology. Dude, stop flailing around. Get comfortable. Wow. So the cloaking is biological? Yeah. Weird. all the nope i like to jump around watch for cloaking watch for them they force this trying to surround us keep an eye on your six o'clock and our two o'clock and our eight now who's dead asshole Nope, I'm good. I'm gonna keep going. Some sort of structure on that hill. I can't this jump up. <laughs> from the storms. A path down the right. You hear that? Yeah, radio static. But like a pattern. On, really? Are you gonna sit there? We're clear. Thank God. I was tapping my mic, hoping someone would notice. Are you okay? Yeah. Where are the others? They killed Kirkland. The fisher's alive back at the crash site. <laughs> Skull broken leg. Needs help. I'll check around for supplies. I can then switch shooting angles, but um Stay put when you get there. I'm playing on mouse shuttle. and keyboard. Good luck. Can't wait to so get it just off feels weird. Alright, you, you can just stay here and chill. That's fine with me. Okay, nothing special here. Like, uh, for instance, like I would have to hit alt to switch shoulder. It's just really fucking annoying. Because in a like a panic or whatever in the middle of like a a fight, I I hit all sorts of buttons and end up killing myself. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way. Oh shit. Run, you bitch. Like a home at all. 
I used to play racing games um, when I was younger. Yeah, no one's But not anymore. so much anymore. So what's it for? Doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. Must be a way to get some lights on. Yeah, sure. I like biotics and everything, and, um... Thank you for the follow, Mel. I'm not gonna butcher your name. But I appreciate the follow. Thank you. Now everybody a dance party. <laughs> Where the hell is this damn thing? Too bad you can't make your character, like, dance on command. That'd be fucking hilarious. Huh. What's all this about? Nothing. What are you doing, Ryder? Stuff. I'm pushing buttons. That's what oh, humans shit. do. That can't be good. Hello, oh. Light. It's a generator. Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't it be? Maybe it did something. Uh, what did that... That's a steamer. Does it open? No? Okay. I don't know what any of this shit does. Yeah, don't attempt to say their name or else they get names after pop-up stars. <laughs> Oh, after pop starts, like, yeah. Looks like a sauna. Steam some broccoli. Yeah, we'll put artificials out of broccoli in there. Steam it for him. That way he gets, like, a little bit of something out of that. Although, does it really lose its nutrients when you steam them, or... I don't remember. Do I have all my ammo? Hey, that door. Yes. Which door? This door? Nope. Wait. Maybe. Some kind of research lab? Maybe. Then it got hit by a tornado. When you boil, you lose nutrients. Okay, I have a GTX 1050 Ti. So I'm not that far from it. I don't really need a 1080. Because by the time I get a 1080. Something else is already in the work. They're already fucking working on something now. Same language as those aliens. Wonder what he's saying. Kill all the weird. You hear that? Looks like they were trying to tunnel in. Don't think it's uh, watch it. What is it? This? Come on. This. So now killer robots too? Huh. The Geth back home would love this place. Doesn't say much. Or the some serious energy on the other side of that door. Whatever this is, it scans as being old. Centuries old. Wish we had Sam. It's older than this lab, but about the same age as that bot we just killed. So maybe these aliens found it deeper in. Like an artifact. Any theories, recall specialist? There's some kind of hmm. technology on this planet. Older, underground. Something these aliens are interested in. Like archaeologists? Yeah. Bloodthirsty aliens, archaeologists. Aliens, lightning, and robots. Oh my. The weather's so crappy. Heads up! They were waiting for us! Where? Oh, hi! Let's not wait around 
for more. All right, now I investigated that. Let's go over here. Thanks, Cora, for being kept in obvious. That's nice, Liam. So proud of you, dude. What did we ever Woo! Do now? Oh, I'm in. Shit, I forgot about that. Harry, you guys okay? Not dead yet. Well, that sells that. Calvary to the rescue. Nice to see you guys. You too. Go back in there. Still in one piece. We got here just in time. Where's my dad? He went scouting ahead while we fixed the shuttle. Ryder, there's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Already done. These things tried talking to you at all? Barely a word. Then started shooting. What about you? We didn't stop for a chat. No, I, I really don't feel like putting on uh, my cam right now. Should not Shut be up, over me. here. Excuse me a moment. Kate just doing stupid things. Shooting through my teammates' ass. Always a good time. Big guy. Oh. Man, these guys don't have Shit. To fight. Ah, damn shrapnel. Mm. Damn, they won't let up. Oh. I like how he's still talking. die here. I always die here no matter what. Fuck that guy.
Oh my god, can I... Shit! I keep getting stuck on shit. <laughs> okay, there he is. What the fuck? Really? Where is this fucker? Where? Oh, hi. Okay. Liam, enough. Right. It's just these assholes kill Kirkland. Hang on a second. I'm trying to read what you guys are saying. Blake, what the fuck, man? Hey, humble dog. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Ah, yeah, feel the anger. Stay pissed. Use it. Will do. Just remember, we need that ammo. Strangle them if I have to. What about the others? Fisher's wounded, but sitting tight. Greer's with him. Though our shuttle's in pieces. Guys. Take cover! Take cover! Oh boy. I didn't know you were biotic. Don't worry, it's not contagious. Before they attacked, I... They managed to fix our comms. You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Sam, are you there? QEC link established. Affirmative, Ryder. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. I'll take that chance. It's not any better on the ground. We're just human lightning rods running around here. Not if we can turn the lightning off. I don't follow? I have an idea. Rendezvous with my coordinates. Will... Yeah, there's no renegade and no paragon. Basically, I can Sir? be a sarcastic bitch. Sir? I can be myself in this game. Can you two manage alone? I can keep her stable. I could be a caring oh, sarcastic wow. bitch. <laughs> Let's move. Sam, do you have the Pathfinder's position? Marking the nav point on your map. Doesn't look far. Let's make this quick. We have to get there before the storm hits. Nope. Before I forget... Is, is my character taller than her? Because that'd be fun. scouting for. He was trying to get readings on that tower. Well, the Nepwood puts him near it. Exercise caution. The storm front is already gaining intensity. Nice to have you back, Sam. How about some good news next time? Thank you for the follow, follow Humble. Appreciate it. Sam's right. We don't have much time. Oh shit, I should... Oh good, I made it. Look, the rock. Dead bodies here! Lightning didn't do this! Incendiary rounds! My dad's been busy! He was an N7. They don't mess around. Um, the scanning of, like, different technologies, just so you know, um, actually help you in development in, um, in weaponry, armor, and other knickknacks. Somebody was pretty clever with these rods. Only way to survive here. Two, if you count shooting on sight. We're close. The nav point shows my dad's up there. Sir. 
donut link in the description. <laughs> what donut link? Oh god, I don't even want to think about donuts. I met enough of those this morning at work. Junkies? Visitors, just like us. I don't think they're native to the planet. They're not. We found an abandoned lab, like they've been studying the place. Good work. You actually did some scouting. That's why we came all this way, isn't it? Exploring the unknown, you said? Glad that sunk in, because some days it's easy to forget. <sighs> Tell me about it. Sir, you said something about the lightning. It's the dark energy cloud the Hyperion hit. It's affecting the whole planet. Interfering with that. The tower is caught in a feedback loop with the cloud. Together they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. Which suggests if we can get in there and shut it down, the lightning goes away. And the shuttle can get us out of here, in theory. We just have to get past that. God, I started off streaming Transistor. Not a Mass Effect game. Now I'm playing a Mass Effect game, and then I realize, because it's a little chilly in my room because of my ceiling fan, where's my fucking N7 jacket? God damn it. It's a hell of a gamble, but we won't know until we get in there and try. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. If the riders are game, oh, it's so uh, am I. But we risk Sure, is Owen playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? It's them or us. Oh, it's them. Problem is, we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. Never really got into, like, those card games. Oh, Owen and Retro? Can you just let uh, Retro Knight know that he's missing all the Mass Effect booty? Works for me. Since he loves that booty. Let's go! Right behind you! I just want to know what his uh, what he would say, that's all. Sam, load combat profile. Here they come! Now we've got their attention! Watch the lightning! Easy for you to fucking say. I got shit to kill out here. This one's south in a hurry. Oh, fuck it. Fine. Go, 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 go. Oh, Jesus. Lag. They're coming out of the woodwork. Silver Fox, thank you for the follow. Get moving. Sam, biotic amp interface mode. I'm here. Keep the momentum up. Don't let him get the drop on you. Oh shit! What's what? What's shooting me? I have to keep an eye on our flank. Not if we keep moving forward. Don't let him catch us. How's your dad doing all of this? He's like a machine. No idea, but it's working. Oh shit. Thank God for the jet. That's it. We're doing it. Ready? Let's get inside there. Ugh. Oh, that hurt. I don't know these terms. Come on, what? into the building. 
Are you fucking serious? I can't jump that high. I'm a white girl. I can't jump that high. Just a little help this from like our friends. Center. Keep him off my back. You heard him. We made it. In one piece. Not over yet. I need to get through that door over there. Oh, fuck this big guy. Oh, no, no, no. Watch, I'm going to jump off here to my death. Whoa. You know what? Hang on a second, boys and girls. Well, actually, I don't even know if there's any girls in here, but I say it just in case. So, hi. Hello. I have no idea what this looks like for you guys, but hi, here I am. I need to decipher the language. There's more coming up. What's the plan here? They'll surround us in no time. We need to defend both sides or they'll flank us. Where no, you really, us? Ryder? Got it. Uh, did I just put her in the right spot? Kind of. Okay. Whoops. Exactly, that is your right. My right, anyway. Where are we going? Oh. We held them off at the shuttle. We can do it again. A lot of people still counting on us. I'm just getting warmed up. They mean business. Keep them off your dad. Analyzing possible inputs. 25% encrypted. Sam, shut the fuck up. I don't care. I killed the big guy. What is this place anyway? I don't know, but they sure want it back. Well, 50% encrypted. It's an unusually complicated syntax. I can see that. Try a recursive search. I will need a moment to evaluate there the pattern. We only have a moment. Do it. <laughs> I think I really pissed that one off. Maybe you just like shoved a grenade in his ass. That'd be much better. Sir, any progress? Whoa! 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 What the fuck? Almost got it. Just a little longer. They're falling back. Could be regrouping for another push. Stay sharp. Encryption complete. That did it. It's a security override. I'll try to open the door from here. Ah, damn, it's jammed. I need to take a look at it. My arm wants to fall asleep. Ryder, I need... Put your back into it. You really think we can shut this thing down? I don't know yet. Sam's decoded part of the language. Now we'll see if I can have a conversation. Nothing on this planet has listened so far. Just be careful. Worried about your old man, huh? Girl, he's anyone. right next to you. Stop yelling. Jeez. Come on. These are the moments that make it all worthwhile.
Sam, begin translating. A moment. Index. Oh, Esteban, if you actually look down below, it's there. Translation complete. But... Let's see what we have. It's just there because Duncan yelled at me about it. You have selected Microsoft Sam as the computer's default voice. Yeah. Sunsets. Let's get back to the shuttle and boom. Euro dollars. Very romantic dude. There be no incest in this. That's his daughter. Can't exactly, uh, yeah, you can't really share that particular helmet. Suggest a hardwired connection. Do it. There. Welcome back. God damn it, share. What happened? You were clinically dead for twenty two seconds. No. Did the rest of the team make it? Hey, you're still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Where? It was your life or his. And he chose you. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry that I know the Twitch crapped out on you. I fucking hate it when that happens as well.
Growing up with Dad was tough. He and I never really hit it off. But I know he could be distant. But he once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. Billy, I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm, what are we doing I'm not in sure Sam mode? Sam is now part of you, in a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Cora? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder. You can't be serious. What's the matter? <sighs> I think you're up for it. saw my dad in action. It takes years to become a Pathfinder. You'll learn as you go. Besides, you won't be doing this alone. It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. She needs to rest first. She has two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I, uh, I checked on your brother. Still no change. But if you can pull through, so can he. A bit of your dad in both of you. Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. <laughs> Why did he do it? Why me? Unknown. But he never acted without reason. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. Yeah, the Pathfinder is basically is to find um, habitable um, planets to colonize. Each race has a, a Pathfinder, except for one race that tag along, that's Krogan. The only thing I didn't particularly care for so far in this game is the fact that you get to see what your villains look like so early on. Which is really annoying, but it is what it is. Billy, there's humans, Turians, Krogan. I really do miss the Quarian and the Elcor, the Hanar, Drells. Drells were basically on the verge of extinction, but yeah. Yeah, sure. He he needed to clear that Google history. And Pornhub. Sorry that I'm yawning. I've been up since 4 in the morning. And it's almost 10 p.m.
I'll probably go for like another Ryder. 40 minutes. Good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda initiative. Let me tell you, Sorry, fucking Solarian frames dropping this too. damn game. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. Wake and bake, I don't smoke. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion, requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Billy, I highly doubt that. And anyway, you guys wouldn't see me because I would probably hit my microphone out of the way right and Could waffle face on my How? keyboard. And Habitat waffle face, I mean, when you're sleeping on your keyboard, you have like a indentation this that looks like a fucking waffle. Green across the board. I used to use that term so much in World of Warcraft, and that's where I heard it from. But really, nobody's ever heard of it. Gotta bake that tofu. Tofu's actually All not right. that bad. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. I'm Commander Shepard, and it's my favorite store in the Citadel. Pancake on my face makes me extra happy. <laughs> Boy! 2006, thank you for the follow. I heard waffle face before. Okay, thank you. I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out but if your face is seven. a pancake, well, well first your face starts right? off as a pancake and then so, it turns into a waffle. A, a waffle is basically a pancake with syrup traps. Forgot what... That was a Mitch Hedberg joke. I just remember that. <laughs> I was not listening to the characters in game whatsoever. I was too busy reading. Better get some syrup and some butter. Okay, here, here's here's a question. Do you on either waffles or pancakes? Do you guys put butter and syrup on it, or do you use like whipped cream and syrup or fruit? Fruit and whipped cream. That's what it is. Fruit and whipped cream. How do? Play these types of games on a computer. Uh, I honestly don't know. You eventually adapt. It's kind of like when you play from one console to another that has a significantly different like controller. You just adapt. Like for instance, going from. You guys are gonna think I'm fucking crazy, but I absolutely hate the Xbox controller with a fucking passion. I hate it. I I just don't like the way it feels. Yet I like the Nintendo 64 controller back in the day. I don't know. I like that one. Butter is okay. Syrup is better. Now what about butter and syrup? Or is that too much? I use syrup and fruit because I'm vegan. <laughs> oh my god. How do people play on console controllers is a better question. Eh, I don't like the Xbox controller either. Yeah, I'm not alone. But everyone's got their preference. I can't play an MMO with, without a mouse and keyboard. Owen played 14 on a controller. Well, that's because he plays it on a, on the on the PlayStation 4. Yes, the N64 controller is horrible, but I was comfortable with it. Syrup only on pancakes. Okay. Can I talk to this dude? No? Okay, cool. Can't talk to her either? Alright. Do you put syrup on your spaghetti? I have not tried. Here's a fucking weird thing that uh, my friend Fiddle Mephisto uh, got me to try. Peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwich. Try that one. I'll, I'll just follow these kids. God damn her hair is bouncy. Just notice that. A full duty roster. I just updated the charts. She'll want to see crew reassignments first. Start with non essential personnel. I actually don't particularly care for a lot of deep fried or fried things. Okay, folks. I can only play games on my computer and my phone. 
like the sandwich. It actually wasn't bad. It's not something I would eat all the time, but it wasn't bad. Must be a Canadian delicacy. Yeah, pretty much. Peanut butter and honey is quite nice. Bears love honey. <laughs> Deep fried butter. Oh, God. You guys are making... Oh, it's fucking nasty. Ugh. What is Stefan? What are you talking about? Yeah, sorry, Cher. Toothpaste and charcoal on a sandwich. Yummy. Peanut butter and banana sandwich. Yeah, so that is really good as well. Why are we talking about food? That seems to be a theme. I'm gonna get a bowl of shreddy. Shreddies while you talk about pancakes. Uh, uh, I actually wouldn't mind trying that, Billy. That, uh, I don't know, it just, it's interesting. I probably won't like it, but I wouldn't mind trying it. I put spinach and pineapple on my pizza. Because <laughs> I wanted to donate Kate, not Streamlabs. Oh. I will fix that in in the future. Don't don't worry about it, Esteban. Honestly, don't worry about it right now. Um, Cora, how do you? St it's like she's ready to pop a squat. Aw, oh, Billy, that's low. Crutching tiger, hidden moron. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, <laughs> just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor She's for the She's gonna dogs. wrestle Means up we some can start cattle. Waking her people up. Was she? Is people she related to Bonnie? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. And she After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we Kay. are. No, I didn't uh, know that, Billy. I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Welcome to the Nexus. Gateway if you play the original trilogy, I'm everybody remember Avina? Holy, she has clothes now. Can you now. tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? Whichever you can. Oh boy. Habitat this thing 7? is so at That's outdated. She's way out of date. I used to be addicted to tiramisu. Dude, only if it's made right. See. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? <laughs> That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful and Shut up, Avina. Shut up. Right. That was helpful. Yep. Anyway. 
Oh, damn it, I forgot I can't jump when I'm not in combat. Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an arc? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. Kandros. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just... You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You decided uh -huh. for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. <laughs> Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. Damn it. But you're like here now, like so maybe the, the worst is over. Head. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the Oh my god, I'm like so yawning out the storm hidden. over here? We're, Jesus. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Holy Some frame rate just went leaders who died. Is it fucking like 16 frames per second. Jesus Christ. And no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. Director Tan. I'm Jaron Tan, director of the initiative. <laughs> you have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking oh. at her. Like, hi. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, that and there's been no word from the other arc. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources, but that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? Can I punch you in the throat, please? I'm ready to step up and do what needs to be done. I can handle it. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. 
We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Hmm. Hopes in short supply it's a here. Krogan, and just what for the record, it's a female Krogan. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An Kesh, ago, Kesh is fucking dark. awesome. I love Kesh. Ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Is he talking to the console? Juicy, juicy power. Wow, okay. I'm gonna go up here really quick. This is Nexus Control to Hyperion. No, it's it good to have you here. What choice do we have? Let's talk to this All bitch. Alright, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with... My face Everything. is tired. That's what and you kept right referring now, I to. I just want to know what happened with Anna. <laughs> I didn't remember that line. In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role, eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This... Mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The scourge, spoiled worlds, exiles, hostiles. Yeah, we can't just, just call me an inbred. Post and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel, not headed by Tan, or even me. There's also this strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. Blake, the that's just a scary research. thought. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, Clever they disinfect. Bot. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Oh god, like so, uh 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it the is. The female one? Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder, not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. Have you ever checked out Boybot? That thing is fucking creepy. They both are. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. 
but no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director with our colonies. Good point. Still a bitch. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's oh yeah, against. all their faces used Why to be a lot worse. Oh god, her I eyes were just you. creepy there. Prove me wrong. Actually, I think I know what might be going on here. I oh, know, I have it on. I'm, I'm just leaving it on high. Fuck that. It was an ultra before. But even my computer's just going, hey, I'm good, but not that good. <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> this is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. Damn That's been true of every man. world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Estevan, I said, do not worry about it. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way. Yet it rendered all the gold Because like unlivable. um when I donate the on art you ran into the cat well, somehow they're refund. obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything uh, to prevent others from Yeah, you them. might want to Since murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. Might want to check the challenge is to settle I told you not to worry about it. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. Uh, I decided I to fail, make my writer no look like one bed, of my right? original He'll characters, Kaisa. Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others. The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the pathfinder you pretend to be. Where's my ship? They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Sam Nude on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I particularly don't really care for the Solarians. Oh yeah, this is his office. I never actually looked at the construction of it. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues find our proud new look around. Please yeah, select I'm, a topic. No. No, just log off. I'm not talking to a wall. It's bad enough the Kasumi had me talking to an advertisement. fuck is it? No, 
Yeah, Morden was the only good one. Then there was that other one that basically kept telling you on, um, on Sarkesh. That basically was telling you to stop touching it. Stop touching the button or the console or whatever. What if they store oxygen in the fuck am I going? Oh, over there. See you, Cora. She sells seashells. You forgot the S on the second shells. Stop touching that button. Touch. Fine, keep touching it. You'll never know what it does. Where the f Am I on the Hyperion? I don't know where the fuck I am. Oh yeah. Not a clue. I think I totally passed it. Yes, running into people. I'm fucking tired. Where the fuck is it? Oh. Go that way. I feel like a dumbass. Her legs are tired. Everything's tired about her. I feel like I was just here. The fuck? I always get lost in this fucking place. I'll go back there. <laughs> it's a very fucking intense wedgie. At least it's not a Melvin. That would suck. That totally- I totally ran right- I should have just followed the fucking giant orange star. I can't sing that, but thank you, Cher. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Now, it also, um, Esteban, if you're still, uh, watching and everything um i don't know what happened with streamlabs or whatever but uh yeah just try to work that shit out and i'll just do um a direct link or i'll try to do a direct link for uh paypal if you wish sam if we're going to work together you can't keep hiding things from me apologies i am simply following your father's wishes what was he keeping secret my true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. 
They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Yeah, definitely see if there's like a way you can contact him or whatever and just be like, hey, that was a mistake. Blake, I have not played that game, but I do have it. I did buy it. How you doing, Smash Gordon? Yeah, he he's like the most annoying thing in this fucking game so far for me. Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious, like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship, benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. Yeah, definitely, um... So, what's different? I'm pretty sure there's a way that you can contact them and be like, Hey, that was a fucking mistake. Your implant is my window into and yeah, sure. Edie, fucking best. I can't really pick Cortana because then I don't I never played Halo. That's a lie. I played multiplayer for, for a little bit, but I sucked at it. That's pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's well, it experiences, hurt. just for a, a second in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Next, you'll have to remove its restraining bolt. Halo 1 was the only one I completed. Halo 2 is great for co-op. My favorite AI. No, I don't watch basketball, so I don't get it. <laughs> hmm? Welcome back, Ryder. That's all for now. Of course. Real crazy close up. Jesus. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. <laughs> uh, yes, the nose hair is coming out of the men's nose as they get older and it's like just all over the place. And freaking women with their like faint mustache or full on fucking mustache. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. <laughs> and now you know what humility feels like. Oh my god. <laughs> Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder. Not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. Oh, One so of your father's sorry. memories oh, is now accessible. God damn, accessible. Mr. Chungus, you Return did not miss really anything except me yawning further. a bunch. I am fucking tired. Isn't there more shit lying around here? That is a small bed. Oh, wait, wait. Hey! I picked up the SR2. Sweet. 
What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Stop. Several of them are encrypted. Okay. That log is not currently accessible. Oh. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Fine. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't Jesus the husband Christ. or father I should have been. Ugh. I think I've hit my Here's fucking limit. Years can change a man. Gordon, it was you. Um... No, I don't work tomorrow, thank God. Well... Yeah. What? Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Liara to Sony, huh? She studied the Protheans. When my team used to dig up artifacts, we'd debate her work. She had some pretty controversial theories, oh, as I recall. God. That's the last thing I need to go blonde again. I have loaded Dr. Dussoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most Liara's voice actress, work, um, but I'm young Ali Hillis, sorry, she is so sweet. She's older, the sweetest person so I've ever met. Has the final word. <laughs> Same thing with Jennifer meantime, Hale. She's she's really I'm fucking happy to awesome. Pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought You of can hear in her voice as she's smiling. Has my head spinning? I am honestly not sure. Go blonde and overdose on hair gel. Now you just need to use anyway, the got to be glue or I just fucking use glue. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future <laughs> flamed success. It, flamed it. <laughs> oh, man. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Scott. That's sweeter than sugar. Dr. Tapero says he'll be fine, but... He's my son. How can I not worry? I hate to leave him like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're gonna find out. Fructose is sweeter than sugar. Oh. That explains why they're taking it out of everything, but it, fuck all these artificial sugars. Okay, those are all encrypted, so I'm not gonna waste my time. <laughs> Although I do have a fucking tickle in my throat, god damn. I used hair gel in high school. Put so much that you could break, break my hair because it was brittle. Yeah. God. I remember I used to streak my hair blue. Or dye it blue and um, a bright red. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. I already drank coffee when I got home. That the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished it's like in the 1030 Milky Way about 50,000 years ago. I'm not gonna drink coffee ago. now. I would end up then falling asleep went anyway. Extinct, even at the time of this writing. The year 2182. It's like, welcome Their to the Andromeda stream, tired edition. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Did you eat anything tonight? Yes, I had some... Sacred Purse. That is a very interesting username. But thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Too bad I can't make I can't make Ryder dance on command. That'd be fucking awesome. 
I'll have to share the video where I got that um that song from. It's obviously from uh, Omega. Coconut oil for tally. <laughs> But, um, what the hell was I even talking about? I don't even know. Hmm. And also, eventually, it's like, I'm gonna be... Ugh, I gotta schedule a time with, uh, with Neko-chan. Get the second episode of the Bullshit Show back on here. The first episode is over on YouTube, but I think I'm going to download that episode and upload it here. Because honestly, it's like, I really don't give a rat's ass about my YouTube channel. I am going to keep some videos, though. Let's talk about food. Yes, that seems to be the stream topic all times. Um, I had ramen. Like, the instant pack thing? Well, here's the thing. I don't take that powdered shit. I actually will use um, chicken broth. So I take the chicken broth, the noodles. There you go. Throw out that powder shit, because I don't need my I don't need high blood pressure. Um, and I forgot to bring it back downstairs, but also some sriracha. I gotta add like uh, vegetables and other shit to it, but yeah, that that's what I had for dinner. Like around five or six o'clock. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just gonna follow the frickin' star. I actually just realized I am following the star of David. Sweet. I'm fine with that. Whatever. It is what it is. Pizza? Oh, I had pizza yesterday. I actually had that this morning because I left my pizza at work and they stuck it Ready in the cooler. See what Tan gave us? So I had I some cold pizza special. for breakfast <laughs> Pathfinder on route. with mushrooms and uh, sliced meatballs on it. Great. I we ate too much ramen long. and now I can't the eat it anymore. Going, we'll I feel that way again. about pumpkin spice anything. I fucking can't stand pumpkin spice stuff. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Honestly, I'm not even fucking paying attention to what's going on. This is going to be a playthrough of fuckery. Oh, everything's so pretty. They it's call funny her out. The Tempest. No, I work in a bakery. Of course there's an oven, but come on. Cold pizza. It's good. It's good cold and hot, and also, hello to the Tempest. I still miss Normandy. This thing actually reminds me of the, uh... What is it? Blackbird from X-Men? Is that what the ship is called, Blackbird? Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. There's my waifu in this game. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Veteran. I just love her voice. Veteran X. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? So the we get out of here, the better. My first playthrough. You're coming with us. I uh, romance the yes. and Garin. Yes. there's no way they're letting Jal. the ship off the station. But it was actually a really hard toss-up between Jal and Vetra here. So, Vetra is gonna be my girl because I cannot romance Cora. Cora only likes dick. She doesn't like pussy. So whatever. PB was okay. Okay, here's my here's one of my biggest uh, pet peeves in this game with the whole nudity thing. Why are all the females' nipples the same size? It's just like Billy saying something about like they all have a clone ass. Everybody has the same fucking size ass. Like, so why is everybody's tits the same, including the Asari? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, let's go see the rest of Helios. Romance? I romance no one because I'm antisocial. Hold it! Hold it! You're not going anywhere. Actually, in the very Damn first it. Andromeda, not Andromeda. Wow, the first Mass Effect. I'm fucking tired. In the very first um, Mass Effect, I romance nobody. 
because I didn't know who to romance. I wasn't. I don't like Caden. Caden could go fuck himself. Ashley is a fucking xenophobe bitch, and I don't care for Liara. I'm sorry, Bioware's baby. I don't. I don't like. I don't like your blue baby. I romance myself. Yeah, that that shit was bullshit. And then in Mass Effect 2, I really it's like it's I have to play Male Shepherd, like seriously, um am I going to have to play Male Shepherd just to like tap Tally cuz Tally is my favorite female. You had principles in the first now. Now you love Debak. Don't get me trying to pronounce things. I suck at pronunciating things. They corrupted you. <laughs> yeah. Tally's feisty. I like how feisty she is. Like, she's like, she seems a little, like, she kind of reminds me of myself. Seems sweet and innocent and everything, but it's like, behind closed doors is a completely different fucking story. Um, she's got the head shakes right now. I think I should click something. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Her brain is tired, writer really? is having an episode. Yeah. She's really. all adventurous, excited. They told me and excited the first game, second she's but shy and timid. Third game, she was feisty as fuck. I got family uh, too, yeah, man. she's just so frustrated. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, you know, I honestly can't wait to about it. get to at least like Mass Effect 3 because I do like some of the DLCs. This, um, like the Omega one is my favorite. Because I do like Nyreen, who is another female Turian. Oh, and Shepard. Totally worth it. Oh, oh, I think one of my favorite lines in Mass Effect 2 that I overheard one day was uh, Kasumi saying, Shepard, really, gear, in the engine room, crew, of course, where Tally works? Ah, glad to see you looking well. All booths are the same size, save on bra the manufacturing. On the arc's I'm pretty drive. sure they're a little more advanced than hell of a Brazier's. Quieter. I hope. That's Gil oh, Brody, oh. engineer. Sure, mechanic, there goes your man. Wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. I want a Mass Effect movie. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder. Dax Shepard plays Shepard. <laughs> our science officer. Your quarters oh, are below. Man. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. That when sounded like fly, an innuendo right the there. Bridge. Our pilot should have everything good Don't to tell go. Dorian I like him more. <laughs> I, my lips are sealed. I haven't even gotten that far in Dragon Age. I still have to beat Origins. Upgrade. I'm gonna get my fucking health up there because I have snipes. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what button I just hit, but that's cool. Yes, confirm. Soldier. Cool.
get this shit going. God damn it, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Concussive shot. And no, she is not to uh, replace Garrus. In case anybody was wondering. Dorian is the one who has that like that really great like mustache and everything, right? And black hair. You want to know who programmed the facial expressions? Donald Glover. Danny Glover. Garrus is irreplaceable. This is true. Although, um, as we get a, get in farther, eventually, um, you are going to hear Garrus' lines in here. From another character. What the fuck did I just do? Okay, that's what I did. Um. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the no, central Donald table King. or just get the crew together. Hmm. Yeah, I know he's only in um, Inquisition. Okay, I will get around to getting the crew in a bit. I am not checking any toy out. What kind of toys are you playing with, man? I like Garrus romance, but Femshep, I always go Thane. Yeah, sure. I actually Thane is my absolute fucking favorite, but I chickened out on his um on his playthrough, and I just decided to go with Garrus. So Garrus was my first um romance, but as I'm con as soon as I fucking beat the first one and then go into the second one, I'm gonna go through all the way with Thane. Wedgie pants. Yes. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sa That's nice, Vetra. I want you to change my clothes. Thank you. The fuck is. Oh. Okay. Okay. I think. God damn it, it keeps going like onto her body. There. That's the smallest fucking mesh hall I've ever seen. Mess hall in that mesh. Okay, so you have all these cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. So you got this entire fucking crew and everything on the ship and everything and only one fucking toilet. One toilet, two showers. Two shower heads. Med bay. It's Lexi. I'll talk to everybody in the next one. I'm just wandering around. One tiny ass toilet. I thought I was like reading it as saying one tiny asshole. It's like those are small to begin with. Oh god, yeah, a Krogan. The Krogan will get fucking stuck on that thing. Especially if it's a male Krogan. Holy crap. You just get his all four of his balls stuck in there.
Are you role playing? Oh, Lilu from uh, Fifth Element. No, no. If I was, she would have orange hair. <laughs> Lilo Dallas Multipass. We're almost out there. Finally. Suvi has a really cool accent. Just holy fucking frame rates. I think my computer has just gone, hey, I need a break. From here. Even though it's only like 3% usage, so. My computer is tired. I'm tired. Addison has, has resting bitch face. Ah, time for introductions. Kalo. You must be Ryder. Kalo Jab. A pleasure to be here. And to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship. Give us some but coffee. I would fry it. To see us through Helios. And then I would feel bad for Digital Man because then I'd be like contacting him for tech support. As usual. Resting glitch face. Oh my god, no, it's the parking basement. <laughs> yeah, I, I miss Joker, honestly. I'm new to this. Being a pathfinder, running a ship. You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest. What Tempest's just happened prototypes. to the textures I admit, there? I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how Coffee, cold processing. Syncs with your mm -hmm. implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a pathfinder. Everything's secure if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? <laughs> My mind just totally went to the fucking gutter. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I'm fucking tired. I need to go to bed. Uh. We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. Suvi, I see the you checking out her ass. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see Many us through. Many in space. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Everyone's going, oh, a ship has taken off. That's new. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Uh, Shara, talking about, uh, Suvi. Whatever her accent actually is. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Yeah, Irish and Scottish, they can be very easily mistaken. Well... Sure, I think it depends on what part of um, Ireland that you're from, because I've heard different uh, dialects and different accents from Ireland, so, hey, who knows? Maybe she could be both. She could be Irish and Scottish. That, oh my god, can you imagine her drinking? Shit. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Isavan. I had no idea that 
that's even a thing. You know what? Now, next time if I ever, like, do, like, throw, like, a donation at somebody and it's through Streamlabs, I'm gonna take a look at... But when I donate to, um, to art and everything, or anyone else through Streamlabs, it, it just... It goes, like, pretty much, like, right to my PayPal, so... Maybe it's because I I'm used to it. Because I just like supporting other people and everything. Um, okay, so I'm gonna save here. And we can just hang out here in the, uh, overworld for a second, because it actually is overworld. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, the next time when I see, see him online or whatever, when he comes out of hiatus, um, I'll ask him about that. It's, it's very hard to get one-on-one -on -one with the guy. Speaking of one-on-one, -on -one, I gotta see if he's still on for tomorrow. The Overgalaxy. The Overworlds. Um, Streamlab is free, though. You have the option of subbing a month to Streamlabs. What's the point of subbing to it, honestly? What is the point of that? I'll be back in a month or two. I hope not. He, he needs to realize that he needs to take a fucking break. He's only human. And it's like, and no one should ever force themselves to stream if they are not at least like 75% and up. You get extra em emoticons. Woohoo! Yay! More shit in text. Who cares? Okay, but yeah, I'll look into that. Like, maybe I'll just leave the, um, PayPal thing. Because I wanted it to do, like, the alerts and shit like that. Yes, he streamed on his birthday, and I don't know who donated to him. And everything. And they told him not to stream on his birthday. To just, like, relax and everything. What I did on my birthday is, like, I, I held the first episode of Bringing Back the Bullshit Show. I didn't play a game. You should use sexual manipulation techniques on him. Okay. Actually, I don't really need to, honestly. What happened? <laughs> Send him a naked anime art. <laughs> Learn your skills from Mass Effect. Um, no, I'm actually quite quite good at that, like, role-playing wise, anyway. He showed us all the unused content he developed. Yeah, a lot of the stuff he's either he hasn't used yet on stuff that he was planning, and some of the stuff he only used, like, once for certain videos that he made in the past. Although those are a lot of videos I actually have not seen because I started following him late. I think I've, been, I think I've been following his channel for about a year now? I don't remember. Almost a year? Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. I like the Koopa clown car he used in the 10k special stream. I remember him showing that off before. Yeah, that shit is pretty funny. Yeah, I think my for me it's all, it's almost coming up on a year of like following him and such. Uh Estevan if Wait, what kind of picture are we talking about here? Okay, yeah, just whisper that to me. No, I know, Billy. It's just like everyone just needs like times. Like I, I go through, I go through those periods of and everything. 
I think everybody does, but a lot of times it's like disappearing from social media actually does help a lot. Because if you remember before all this shit, depending on when you were born. Um, like for instance, my first smartphone, it fell off my belt clip and dropped right in the toilet at work. I was without a phone for about a couple of days and it was like the most blissful thing ever. Like I had like no fucking worries. People need to get a hold of me, they just fucking call the work phone. Do you accept commissions for drawings? I am actually very, very rusty, Duncan. A lot of those drawings were really old. Right now I'm just working on a concept uh, cosplay drawing for my friend and I. We want to cosplay as um, two Sailor Moon characters, but we're going to be revamping them into like a, a modern style. This is true, Billy. Very true. It is a double-edged sword. I don't know how to whisper. Um, moving all over the place. Hang on. I don't know where this detected. went. How do I get out? Basically, you click on the name, and then you have the option to uh, whisper. Or what Billy said. <laughs> I never tried that method before. That just reminds me of World of Warcraft right there. Uh, T. I'm gonna exit the map for a second without the quotations. Oh, okay. You know, that's actually a very good question. I don't know, I guess we'll find out because Billy just whispered me. I think I have it, it's like, well, he is following. Hmm. Slash dance. I actually have that shirt. <laughs> uh, Billy, yes, this is true. That is true. I don't know if you guys can see that. Does it show up? I like whispering too. <laughs> Okay, no, it didn't show up. I don't know how that always happens to art, but, um... Here, let me just sweet... Whisper sweet nothings in your ear. I can't talk. I, I can't do any of that kind of, like, sexy talk or whatever. Although, now I can't see the fucking check. It's like I got whispers in the fucking way. Like, what the fuck? ASMR, Kate? No. Um, on. I'm gonna go back to the music. Crinkle some wrapping paper? Oh god. Actually, this was, um, this was like something I was doing. Um, I think in one of a phone call. Not a phone call, like a Discord call. With some people. And I was so fucking tired that... I basically was just talking like this and rubbing my lips against this. This thing is actually very, very soft. Like, you have no idea how fucking soft this shit is. It just feels so nice against your lips. 
Now, if you're alt-tabbed, you're probably going back like, what the fuck is she doing? What is she talking about? The mic felt. I don't remember the proper word for it. I can't think. But, um, yeah. What's hanging on my microphone? It's actually some uh, flash drives. This one is... Okay. Main things that I like to collect, which normally you guys are used to seeing my swords. Well, people who have followed me on YouTube, I have swords that hang up here, but I'm going to be moving that. But I had to take them down because of uh, Hurricane Irma. I just wanted to protect certain shit. I had all my figurines on this shelf here. But they're all in a box right now. But I collect Sailor Moon figurines and um, anything Mass Effect, really. So this one here is uh, Chibiusa and Pegasus. And this is her alter ego adult form, Black Lady. And uh, she's sitting on Luna P. And they're my flash drives. I can tell how soft it is. No, rub your feet on there. No, I'm not rubbing my feet on there. You have a foot fetish, sir. Uh, I actually don't... Yeah, I don't have any of my swords over here. I can't show you guys any of my swords. Sleeps with a katana under her pillow. True story. Actually... Um... I did have one of my knives near my bed, actually. But I don't know what I even did with it. It's like I have one of these... I keep one of these with me at all times. Um, yeah. I don't know. Owen has swords. He claims he sleeps with one under his bed. Hey, it's a possibility. But for me, um, that's, that's too far of a reach for me. So it would do no good right there. I'm a bad American for not owning a gun. I don't own a gun. I don't care to own a gun. I don't give a shit. Oh, it's a space button. Detected. I sleep naked with open knives. <laughs> that shank. Do you sleep on the bed of needles, naked Duncan? <laughs> I sleep with an actual bear instead of a teddy bear. Sure, I've, I, I've got questions that I'll ask another time. <laughs> I also like to live dangerously. Damn it, Kate, you say yes to keep weirdos like Billy at bay. Oh, that's not nice. To be fair, that can be misinterpreted by something else. That other meaning is true? Oh my. It's true, I take that title. To be quite honest, this particular part reminds me of No Man's Sky. When I first started playing this, I was like, hey, I think this is how No Man's Sky was supposed to play. You say you have an AK-47 in your bed? No. Sleep in a van down by the river. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. Sam, stop fucking with shit.
Men must be men after all. None of these shaven skinny boys. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Put too, well, actually, I have really no preference, honestly. Just use the EMP and kill Sam forever. Yeah. I think they actually try to do that in this game. No, I have never shot a gun. I've been interested to at least like know how to shoot one, if, for whatever reason, if I need to know how to use one. But no, I do not. Men who shave. Anything other than their beards aren't men. Yeah, you know how annoying, how itchy that is and everything when friction happens? Ugh. Have you ever shot a gun with a gun? No. You have to keep your armpits at least made. <laughs> <laughs> pretty bad uh, actually it's like a lot of times it's like don't even have to completely shave that or whatever just fucking trim the hairs because it's what is it like usually the hairs is like just contain the odor or trap the odor or something oh if anything it doesn't fucking help my armpit hair keeps me warm in the winter yeah, that's what I say about my leg hair. But f winter? What's winter in Florida? We don't have a fucking winter. We have like, what, two days? Two days of winter? We can have all see all <laughs> all seasons in one day here. That's fucked up. It's when you turn on the air conditioner for Christmas, dude, in in Florida, all year round. Ireland just has rain. So does Seattle. So does Washington state. And rain and more rain. Did I happen to mention that it has a lot of rain? With rain on the side? And rain for dessert? And potatoes. I fucking love potatoes. A lot of my customers actually think I'm Irish. I went to Vegas one year. Oh! I went to Vegas over a year ago. And shot a Glock 19. Which is a full auto pistol. Can't have those in Cali. Boy, it was fun. Yeah. I I think I would have better luck like with like a handgun. Potatoes are God, therefore I am a prophet bow to, bow to me, mortal Americans. Um Share. Billy's not American. He's Australian. Hence the craziness. The good kind of craziness. <laughs> I like my potatoes how I like my women. Bait. Kangaroo Nuggets, Nuggets, and Os McDonald's. Shrimp on the bar. Oh, great. Here come all the Australian jokes. Sorry, Billy. Ah, I love how my microphone just like creates a shadow because my lamp is all the way over there. Felt like I just had a Shatner moment there. <laughs> Fuck. If 
how close are you to the ocean? Can you just like go throw a net in there and catch them? I am so lost. What the fuck is going on in here? What is going on in this crazy chat? Oh man, we got some... I'm lost because I'm fucking tired. I'm normally lost, but I, I, I'm a lot more lost than normal. I'm lost. Can you help me find my way home? I made a reference to an old RPG. What's Paladin? Which RPG? Because it does sound familiar. Video game references. A lot of them are weird, but they're they're all majority of them are pretty cool. The only person I'm actually missing in here is Smooth. Paladin, isn't that Star Wars? That'd be a Padawan, not a Paladin. Padawan. Bogan is a charming man who wears a mullet. <laughs> Aliens versus pred Predator. Who would win? I actually particularly like the Predators. Actually... Billy, you are actually not the only uh, Bogan. There's um, another person that, well, now he follows me here on Twitch. There's another person that follows Art as well. He's from, I believe he lives in Australia as well, because I saw it on his Twitter. Spazawacky, I believe is his uh, name. Yeah. <laughs> Palin is a knight that serves a king in RPGs and uses holy knight. They are usually holy knights who use holy magic as well as being warriors. Yes. Uh, kind of like a Templar in Dragon Age. Well, he called himself a bogan. Actually, is a bogan like a negative? Is that a negative term? Or is it just depends on the context that you use it in? A bogan is like a bugger. <laughs> no. Seems like it would be negative. Templars are religious warriors linked to the church. Okay. Okay, sure. It's just like they almost seem somewhat similar. Just just a little bit. But I do see the difference there. Hey, it's all good. Someone's got to educate somebody. I tend to be that person that I will educate you with nonsense. Shit you don't need to know. Yeah, they are pretty similar in RPGs. <laughs> My god. 
actually something I haven't done in a long time. Jesus Christ, my eyes just got very watery. Esteban, I don't smoke. What did Billy post? Take a break of smoking a pancake? Yeah, I don't fucking smoke, so. Hang on a second. Yeah, push ups where? I'll be right back. Computer chair so much. Push up my depression. She's gone quickly. Let's do naughty things. What kind of naughty things? What are you guys not sharing with me? Stretch that ass, stretch the ass muscles, <laughs> the glutes. And just for the record, this is not a dildo. I'm not sharing needles, that's for sure. Okay, I lied. I don't like that much action. <laughs> you posted your dad's pic. I am scared. I'm scared. What other things do you own that are not dildos? Well, I gotta say something before somebody else fucking says something. But, um... This is actually one of my, uh, favorite swords. I'm, I'm not clicking shit. I, I'm staying inside the game, where it's safe, and... Yeah, this is one of my favorite blades. Let's sit over there. I know I'm not trying to intimidate anyone, but I'm just like saying it's one of my favorite blades that I own. No, but I have no problem just getting down and getting rough and everything, and I mean like fighting, wrestling, or whatever. I'm I don't fuck around. You should get a sword from Japan. Japan. Okay, you know how expensive those things are? Fuck, one day, one day I will have a real katana. <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> Fucking yawning. Not Japan. Oh, no goddamn. Billy, I might not win, but I'm sure as hell gonna try. I need to find a magic sword that talks to me. I did the same mistake here when I donated. Esteban, do you have a? 
Do you have Twitter? By any chance? I told- Hmm. Yeah, my, uh, my Twitter account is in the, um, down below in the description. You can just, like, DM it to me. <laughs> Sasuke will stay. Uh, anime references. You can make farting noises with your hands. Good job. I can't do that. I probably can if I tried, but I don't feel like it. Sitting waiting for the butt hurt to blossom. Uh, I've never really watched Naruto either. It's okay. Yet I have cosplayed as Tsunade. That shit was fun. <laughs> okay, but yeah, seriously, like, what the fuck? It's like a quarter after 11. Why am I still awake? The only the only thing that sucked is that I had the um the outfit made for me and everything is that the the top didn't um didn't fit properly so it's like there was no insane amount of like cleavage like there's supposed to be for that character so I was like a conservative 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 <laughs> uh Tsunade <laughs> I was all like covered up and everything this is what happens when you watch somebody for too long. You start to mimic their fucking habits and shit. But I'm actually like this on a normal basis. On a normal, uh, daily basis. I can't fucking talk. As I like to say, I can't English. Not to make fun of anybody from, uh, the UK. Um, or Britain. We're basically just English straight up. I can't fucking English. I can't math. I just like to purposely, like, kill people's ears with, uh, poor grammar. <laughs> Why did you wake up so early? I woke up at 4 a.m. because I had to be at work at 5 a.m. I work in a bakery for a grocery store chain. English is a made-up language. I speak American. I speak Americano. I am not going to disclose what grocery store I work for because their most uh, companies are very anal about um, being talked about on social medias. And I would like to actually keep my job. I'm going to be there for like 14 fucking years. This is my first job, too. And it's going to be 14 years that I've been with them. In December. Not only that, most of us are stalkers, too. Yeah, some people are fucking weird on the internet. Like someone who is named after a role. I really hope Esteban gets that one. I want to buy some buns. From your fine establishment. Dude, somebody actually fucking said that shit to me. Or something similar. They were commenting on my ass. And I was like, what the fuck? It's too early to be hearing this shit. No, most of the time I just fucking brush that shit off and ignore it. But yeah. That was just, it was fucked up. It was from a customer who was passing by. Was, no. Just no. Hot cross buns. I hate making that shit. 
<laughs> Was the customer old? Uh, I don't really know what you would consider old, but the area that I uh, work in is basically typical like white trailer tra trash. And he was obviously already drunk, so... Just for the record, Duncan, you got it. That's where I work. Oh yeah, Duncan, I keep forgetting that you live up in northern Florida. Everyone in this state is old, yes. This is where everybody fucking retires. Florida is a state to retire because nobody wants to deal with the fucking freezing cold. But then they start fucking freaking out about the hurricanes. You worked in the bakery too? Were you just a, um, a bakery clerk? Or did you actually try like a going for like baker? Because right now I'd like I'm... I'm a baker apprentice. How long how long did you work there? Almost a year. Okay. I started off as a cashier for about a year and a half, and then I worked in customer service. Billy, I'm gonna ignore that one. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> if only if I could do fucking generic, like, stereotypical um, accents, I'd... I would try reading that in the most Australian accent out there, but I can't. Well, you guys are sick. She bakes buns. <laughs> yeah, but my mind easily goes into the fucking gutter, and you know that, you sick fuck. <laughs> Man. At, uh... Bread... And buns, like hamburger buns. Actually, my favorite type of bread to actually make is a media noche. Media noche is, is like is a sweeter kind of bread, a sweeter version of a Cuban bread. This shit is so good. That's if you like a sweet bread. Buttered bread, I don't mind. I love shortbread, like shortbread cookies. Yes, media noche. Media noche, like if people don't know Spanish, it's a uh, midnight rolls or midnight bread. It's almost media noche where you're at. Yeah. It's high noon. Nice. How to get beer? First thing I hear is Cuban beer. <laughs> Cuban bread. <laughs> yeah. Cuban bread is pretty good. I actually went to a, uh, a Cuban restaurant called Havana. That's not too far from here. And they actually take uh, Cuban bread and they flatten it out a little bit and they turn it into basically like garlic toast. Shit, it's so good. I wish more bakeries would make pretzels. I know. Some of the stores around me makes like pretzel buns, but my store doesn't. It doesn't sell. Mine is more, um, my particular store is more Hispanic and, um, Haitian oriented. But, um, yeah. It is what it is. Garlic bread is love, life, God, universe, existence. <laughs> yeah, we have actually, this is what we did today. Um, we had a, a damaged uh, container of uh, sweet cornbread and we took a giant thing of butter 
and threw that shit in the oven, the cornbread with the butter on it, and yeah, that 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 stuff was so tasty. Oh shit, you're reminding me I have garlic bread. I love you. I put garlic salt on white bread and call it garlic bread. Fair enough. I could go for some banana bread right now. I actually haven't had banana bread in a long, long time. You guys are really making me hungry now. Now, okay, you, you want me to channel art artificial or whatever? I'm going to eat some nuts. Some little little hazelnuts or macadamia nuts, whatever. Unos conchas? You're going to have to translate that. Oh. Unos uh, conchisa. Don't get me pronouncing things. I can't even speak English and you want me to do Spanish. Do you have any shit candy? Does that look like a little rabbit turd? It's actually a chocolate covered almond. I can speak another language as well. I cannot. If I actually st um apparently if we didn't move from uh, New York and we were closer to my father's parents, we actually if anything, I probably would have learned Italian. Kiss my ass in Irish. <laughs> nice. I'm not going to try and pronounce that though. I'm fluent in dumbass. Duncan, that's like most of us Americans. That's what we're very fluent in, and we excel at it. Hey, forget about it! No, that's your typical, like, um... New York Italian, yeah. Actually, this is one of my favorite things. Actually, it's not favorite, but it's annoying on certain days. I apologize that I'm eating and talking with my mouth full. But, um... This is how I greet people. I don't say, how are you, or how are you doing. I say, how you doing? And I do not say, like, how you doing? I don't, I don't say it like that. I just say, how you doing? Like, how you doing? And then my customer will say back to me, like, how you doing? And I'm like, I'm like, really? Fuck. <laughs> Do my. I can't, I can't do it the way he does it. Are we talking about jo Joey from, um... Oh! I never watch Friends, but is that from Friends? I don't know why, I got Friends or either Yu-Gi-Oh in my head. Hey, Sweet Cheeks, how you doing? From friends. Okay. No, we were talking about Yu-Gi-Oh earlier, so I just thought, automatically thought of uh, Joey from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Fuck that character. Um. When I greet people, I stare cold, coldly at <laughs> their eyes until they say more than five words and then I say, don't know you, then walk away. No, he does, he does talk like that, it's like, and they just emphasize on the stereotypicalness of the way that New Yorkers talk. It's like, I've been to New York, like, the last time was, like, in 2008. Not all of them talk like that.
<laughs> Blake, I'm actually imagining that in a very heavy stereotypical New York accent. And it sounds really funny in my head. Yeah, he calls him Yuki. He doesn't say Yu-Gi-Oh. Hmm. I was gonna say the music in the like background is not annoying you guys, is it? Your favorite character is Seto Kaiba? I'm a friend like Seto Kaiba. I never, I never got into Yu-Gi-Oh. Not even like the card game or anything or the anime. I just, I didn't mind drawing it, but I just didn't get into that stuff. Now, is it Merrick or is it Malik or is that the same person? Kaiba is a rich guy with mullet and blue eyes. And, oh what, he also has like the blue eyes white dragon? Oh, there's... Mr. Chungus, there is Cuban restaurants, there is um, Brazilian restaurants, even though that's Portuguese. Well, it's still Hispanic. Um, <laughs> Taco Bell. Yes, if you want a colon cleansing, go to Taco Bell. Um, so you got... Cuban, Colombian, Brazilian, um, Argentinian, Costa Rican, Mexican. There is all sorts of fucking like of those restaurants around here. It just depends on the area where they're most popular and where they're doing business very well. The one thing that I actually have a hard time finding is some really good, like, um, Haitian food. From, uh, because I work with a bunch of girls that are from Haiti. And, oh my god, their, some of their traditional di dishes are just, like, just normal dishes that they cook at home and everything is so fucking good. I am always down for trying something new. I love Pollo Tropical. <laughs> Chicken on the grill. I like going to, I like going from high pitch to adult pharaoh yugi, like your balls just dropped from the intro. <laughs> He's like, it's time to duel. I can't do the stuttering like duel. <clears throat> I love Chinese food. Now with Chinese food, I've, the first time I've actually experienced like actual Chinese food was the one time I was over in Sweden and also my friends uh, um, when I used to be friends with this one Chinese girl um, her parents owned a restaurant and they would make stuff off the menu so that shit was pretty good too yes Duncan I can't do that <laughs> without sounding like a stuttering fool do you have any Whole Foods where you are yes we actually do have Whole Foods I have not been there in a long time. You know, Mr. Chungus, there might be, but I have yet to find any around here. Oh, yes, and also Puerto Rican um, food. Why am I thinking Keenan and Kel? But I highly doubt it. No, it's definitely not that. I know, fucking some crazy ass shit going on down there. My sister-in-law is actually Puerto Rican and she's from there. And her and a couple of people at, the, at her work and everything I wish I could find the freaking post that she put down of all the supplies that they gathered within like four hours to send down there and everything like batteries, flashlights, diapers, like a shit ton of fucking diapers 
mice as shit in the diapers. Um, just like things that a lot of people wouldn't normally think that they would need. Like anybody in that dire situation would need. Especially if you have babies and everything and you're out of supplies. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Gotta miss that show. Yeah, it is it is in bad shape, but they're they're pretty resilient. They're they're hard workers. They'll pull through. It's just going to take time, unfortunately. So fucking shitty. It's like it's like natural disaster after natural disaster. It's just like what the fuck. Yeah, it's been a pretty rough summer. It's like, I don't think, at least in my area, we haven't had anything this crazy since, like, 2005. Yeah, the frickin' earthquake in Mexico. Like I said, Mother Nature is just, she's trying to fucking cleanse herself. Duncan, were you were you living down here like in 2004 when we had like uh, three hurricanes rip through Florida? One being Charlie, he decided to go through South Florida and then he decided to like curve and go through like Central and Northern Florida. Duncan, you should trip your cousin. Okay, so you lived here since 1992. Okay. Was that before or after Andrew? Yeah, the first time Billy said something about thongs, I was assuming he was talking about the underwear. <laughs> but he's talking about sandals. Flip-flops, whatever. Flip flop. Flip shop. Slop. Just before Andrew. Okay. I'd look good in a thong. <laughs> uh, I bet this is something that men should not wear thongs. <laughs> Who invented that shit? It's like fucking anal floss. Duncan, if you don't if you don't mind me asking, um how old are you? Oh Jesus. Now you're starting to remind me of the one time I was forced to go to a bachelorette party to a ladies' club. You can wear you can wear underwear or wipe your ass at the same time. Twenty-five. Oh, okay. So, man, you were little. You were really young then. Fuck, how old was I? I was like six years old when Andrew hit. He's not a baby, per se. You're a five? Oh, Mr. Chungus, you're a five. I was less than one, yeah. I was born in 86, so. I 
I just realized I've been streaming, if you count the previous stream before this with the transistor. I've been streaming for like five hours. That's not normal for me. All right, Billy, what month? Huh. Okay. to basically late March, early April. Okay. Um, so that makes you older than me. If you were born in 86. And... Heh, <laughs> you're older than <laughs> me and... No, because I was born in August. So I'm a Virgo. And Art actually just turned 31 on Sunday. So shit, Billy's older than both of us. Smart. Smart. <laughs> And anyway, I see people are dropping off and such and everything, and I should probably get my ass in, into bed and everything. Scorpio for life. Hey, at least you guys don't have to deal with like someone like my sister. She's a Taurus and a Gemini. That's if astrology signs mean anything to you anyway. Some people don't believe in that shit. It's just a fun, a fun read. But, um... Yeah, I'll let you guys go on about your life. Thank you for keeping me company. And uh get your ass into bed and everything. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I'm probably gonna still stay awake for a little bit, just kinda like looking at my phone, just going until it like fucking falls on my face. Um and now my PC will work with Twitch. Oh, okay. Yeah. A lot of that stuff is is BS and everything, but it is it is fun or funny. Um, I like to do tarot cards. That shit's fun. Looking at pics of art, Kate. Actually, he did send me a picture of what um he looked like before the beard. He needs to keep the beard. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I even told him that. He looks too much like a child without it. Kate's leaving because she knows she has a chance now. Don't hold it against her. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, I've seen him without a beard. 12 year old Dutch boy. <laughs> yeah, it, it's scary. It's crazy what facial hair can do for someone. He looks like a Dutch baby. Yeah, he looks like a Dutch baby. You just want to pinch his cheeks. Uh, before I go, um, I think a lot of you, like, since I know most of you guys never followed me on uh, YouTube or anything, but <clears throat> see if I can do it. Um, basically, anytime you ever see me talking about, like, Yoshi. A Yoshi voice or anything it's because I can actually do the voice but I don't know if my voice is too hoarse right now but anyway it's like and there you go I could do the Yoshi voice but um yeah thank you guys for keeping me company Blake Esteban Cher Billy Duncan Mr. Chungus I'm not trying to rip Artie off <laughs> on this or anything but yeah and also thank you to um, all the people that, that decide to follow me tonight and making Tally shake her ass. 
because we all know that she's got that shakable ass. Sacred Purse, Boy, 2006. Silver Fox, Humble Doug. There was somebody else. Also, Late Game Reviewer. It's cool. Do the outro, Kate. What outro? I don't have an outro. You want to know what my outro was? It's like, hey, Savinia1012 here. Shut the fuck up and just play your game. That's what my outro was.